It is the 30th of the 10th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start out of Fukushima tonight because I feel it's really important that this story gets out. 27.1 quadrillion spectrals of cesium alone float into the sea. This doesn't include the first week of the crisis. Still 30 times what TEPCO claimed, warning that a significant pollution to remain. You know, think of this pl plutonium, that significant pollution is going to remain for many thousands of years. And this is the reality that we are dealing with. Leading director in Japan, quote, nuclear power generation is the only invention that may destroy the future of human beings, end quote. Off to earthchangesscott.net. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on in the neighborhood. Canada, hundreds of birds, dead birds washed up on Ontario shore. Well, the Ministry of National Resources is investigating after hundreds of birds and fish washed up on the shores near a Georgian bay near Was Wasaga Beach. Police say that the wildlife is scattered along a nearly three kilometer stretch north, north of Wasaka Beach and it's just saddening. They don't know why. United States, Romney flips to denial. We don't know what's causing climate change. And of course, the politicians are telling you what you want to hear. Crushing, crushing snowstorm unfolding in the northeast. Now, this is a story everybody's following, obviously. Uh, the first big snow um, this early in a long time. Uh, we got a nor'easter in action. Going to get uh, over a foot of snow in some places in the northeast. And snow has hit New York before Halloween for the fourth time since the Civil War. Also definitely not a usual thing. And of course there's videos and pictures abound. Connecticut record-breaking freak October storm. Uh, early storm pelts east coast with wet heavy snow. And uh, out of the Gulf of Mexico, more dolphins found. Three washed up on Friday, 14 total dead in October, which is not normal. Uh, Gulfport, so far October, 14 dolphins have washed ashore in Mississippi and Alabama. Three were found on Friday in Mississippi. And... Yeah, they're saying it's a big mystery, but of course... Uh, anybody who's following the BP disaster knowing that this is just another sad example of what is really going on and uh, that they are sniff testing your seafood. They are, does it smell like oil? It's good. So, beware. Uh, out of Spain, an elderly British couple swept to their deaths in, in Bendurium flash floods. They had severe torrential rains. Apparently this elderly couple was on vacation. Uh, and they were seen clutching to um, some poles at a s sidewalk cafe and then were swept away. Um, so there's extreme weather continues uh, in Western Europe. Record-breaking rainfall brings sudden and severe flooding to Dublin, Ireland. Uh, this is back... Uh, on the 25th, water cascading down staircases and uh, just uh, unusually extreme weather there. Over to the extinction protocol. 30 feared dead in second bridge collapse in India in a week. Uh, now this is due to torrential rains and these are those big rope bridges <clears throat> that uh, you see the in the movies and whatnot um, and the sides of the the rivers are given way, and uh, that's the second one that's happened in a week. Residents still looking for answers of death of thousands of birds that washed ashore, of course. Uh, geologists closely monitoring surge in Arkansas. Earthquakes, and you can remember uh, we had that 4-7 back in February, and it was all due uh, to the fracking, so they've stopped the fracking. And where is that? <clears throat> Uh, quote, we're kind of beefing back up because this is a renewed seismicity. Uh, Asbrook said the shaking could be purely natural. Earthquakes continue for years after drilling ended at a Rocky Mountain 
arsenal in Colorado where an injection well was thought to have initially triggered seismic activities. So even though they've stopped fracking um, the unstable underground and the pollution of the, the groundwater continues with this madness that they call fracking. The myth of disaster recovery, thousands still homeless a year after eruption on Maripai. Now you remember in Indonesia a year ago, Mount Maripai uh, it erupted immensely and covered villages in ash and um, devastation and all those things. And uh, we still have thousands of, leaving tens of thousands still homeless uh, even a year after this, this event has taken place. So you got to think about uh, poor Prince Haiti. Um, <clears throat> Christchurch, New Zealand. Has anybody heard how Christchurch, New Zealand is doing nowadays in the news? Um, they are recovering still with uh, having to bring major buildings down and rebuild practically their whole city. Um, so things continue and these people have to deal with these major disasters long after they take place. And my heart goes out to you all. 4.4 magnitude earthquake shakes northern Italy. And uh, seismic awakening earthquakes are increasing in Oklahoma and nobody knows why. I say what the frack is going on in Oklahoma. And Republican ruins Obama sets record for number of natural disaster declarations um, in a U.S. presidency only seconded by George Bush Jr. in his last tour. Um, so that's proof enough that these, these are gearing up and uh, things are happening faster and faster. And uh, things are becoming more costlier and costlier, but nobody wants to talk about Who's going to pay for all these billions and billions and billions of dollars in damages that uh, seem to be happening every day and week here on planet Earth? 6.9 magnitude earthquake shakes Peruvian coastline south of Lima, and of course this was on the 28th. And um, <clears throat> three columns of steam and ash rise 4.8 kilometers from Chile's Hudson Volcano and they are still on red alert in that area expecting another major eruption which of course uh, with major ash downfall um, still continues to create a threat to uh, life and livestock agriculture the bit so that is about all I have for uh, extinction protocol or I mean as far as climate change tonight um, thanks for your support and enjoy what you can everybody